Hi, my name is Kayla Miller, soon to be Kayla Witter. Um, I got engaged almost a month ago for my birthday, um, and we've set our wedding to be September of 2015, so over a year away. But while it's still a year away, um, there is tons of planning to do, so that's something that I'm always thinking about. I'm always Pinteresting, and I'm always jotting down ideas in a notebook that I keep in my purse. Because, you know, a year sounds like a long time, but when it comes to wedding planning, it's, you know, it really may not be that long. So I want to make sure that the whole day is perfect without having to rush and have, having to get everything done last minute. So, of course, I'm already planning. So I wanted to start a video diary about the processes that I'm going through and the things that are going through my mind and the things that I'm doing to make sure that this day is everything I want it to be. Um, so hopefully I can bounce some ideas off you guys. Hopefully you guys can give me ideas as well. We can chit chat, give each other feedback, and hopefully I can give everybody some great ideas. So of course, the first thing we did when we got engaged was we decided who was gonna be a part of our wedding party. And Andre, being the guy that he is, went ahead and asked all of his friends to be his groomsmen. But I wanted to make it a big event. I wanted to do something special for my girls and let them know how important it is that they're a part of my big day. So, like I said, I Pinterest a lot and I came up with the bridesmaid, bridesmaids boxes idea. But instead of just, you know, copycatting somebody else's box, I came up with an idea of what I would want in my own box. I kind of designed it out a little bit and then I went ahead and got those boxes made. So the first thing I did was I bought these heart-shaped boxes from Hobby Lobby. Just basic brown, very clean, very simple, but also very elegant. And of course, very me. That's the important part, to make it very you. And then I worked with a friend who makes shirts to come up with a design for each one of my girls. So I got the tank tops made. They have the titles on the front. Of course, this one's Matron of Honor. Um, I got one made for myself as well. It's white, it says Bride across the front. And then across the bottom, it says Witter on the back. Um, so all of these shirts also have my girls' last names across the bottoms on the back. However, I'm not going to show those just on the off chance that one of my pending bridesmaids watches this video and knows that I'm going to ask her. Of course, I don't want that to happen. So you just fold up the shirt, place it really nicely in the bottom of the box. It makes like a backdrop for everything else I'm going to put in there. I then went and bought the tiny bottles of champagne at Publix. They just come in a set of three. So I got a couple left for myself, um, but I just got these for my matron of honor because um, I do have somebody that I'm going to ask to be a bridesmaid who's not 21 yet. So I don't want her to fill out, um, feel left out if I give other people the one. So just the matron gets this. You just stick it right across the top in there. I also then wrote each one of my girls um, a very personalized letter. It's handwritten. Um, at first... I was going to kind of get these printed up, but I thought handwriting them would be much more personal. And while my handwriting is not perfect, um, like I said, it does make it much more personal. It makes it more heartfelt and it makes my girls really see how much I appreciate them and how much I care about them and how much I want them to be a part of my big day. So I just placed that letter right there in the box. On top of that, I bought a bouquet of the fake flowers at the Dollar Tree. I got the peonies because that's going to be one of my main flowers in the wedding reception. Um, so I got the, the stem that has six different flowers on it. You just pop the flowers off from the stems and you can place those right there in the box as well. Once again, this is now what the box looks like. The very last thing that I'm putting in each box is a leaf. Um, these leaves are just made out of cardstock. I bought one sheet in this really pretty green color. Um, cut them out. Like I said, just one sheet made all five leaves and then I had some extra left as well. And then each girl's name is written on the leaf. Once again, not going to show that name just in case they happen to watch the video. So the box ends up looking like this. You've got the leaf, the flower, the letter, the bottle of champagne for the matron, and the shirt. And so those go in there. You place the lid tightly on top. And then I was just going to tie those up with some twine to give a little something extra to the outside. And, um, of course, stick a name tag on there so I know whose box is whose. Um, and like I said, at first, when I started planning these out, I wanted them to be absolutely perfect. 
Um, but coming to find out that it wasn't exactly what I imagined made it even more perfect because those little imperfections are me. I'm very quirky. Um, I'm definitely not a perfect person. And so having these boxes feel like me makes it way more important. Um, so like I said, we're just going to do some kind of little get together. I'm going to give all my girls their boxes at the same time. Um, let them open them up at the same time. So hopefully they will all say yes. Um, and that'll just be a dream come true. So, you know, I've got the boxes made and hopefully you guys will give me a little bit of feedback. Um, of course, just leave a comment below if you have any ideas, if you think it's great, if you think there's something that could be added. And, um, you know, of course, subscribe, check back regularly. I'm going to try to make videos maybe once a week or so. Um, anytime I have any good ideas um, or get a big thing done. So, you know, just go ahead and subscribe. Check me out regularly and happy planning.